Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do acrylic nails, which as you can see, I do acrylics on myself, but I'm going to be showing you on this little fake hand, just because I already have acrylics on and I don't want to have to redo them. Uh, but yeah, I'll be showing you how I do acrylic nails. So to start off with, if you're wanting to lengthen your nails, which I don't know why you wouldn't want to, to be honest, if you're doing acrylics, um, you'll be using tips and with this little hand I I received tips when I bought it so these these tips are specific for these nails but you use whatever you want to use I recommend Amazon go on Amazon Amazon is fantastic when you're looking at um, getting some nail stuff but um, just gluing them down making sure that they're straight that is very important because if they're not straight you'll be trying to file them so it looks straight but then it just will look awkward and it won't look as good as the other nail so just focus on that when you're gluing them down and I will say I did have a bit of issues whilst gluing these down onto this fake hand just because the tips didn't really fit the hand very well which you wouldn't think that if the tips came specifically with this hand but it worked fine the acrylics looked good at the end which you'll see so then I um, chop some of the length off. You can do whatever you want. You choose how long you want your nails. But I was going for more, I'm not gonna say short, cause of course they're not short, but they're not long in my opinion. They're just your medium length, I guess. And then we're gonna do some filing, which again, I did struggle with filing this fake hand because obviously a fake hand doesn't move like a normal hand. But if you're doing your own fingers then you'll find it a lot easier. I will say, doing acrylics on myself, I find easier than doing on other people because of course I'm not licensed and I'm not a professional. But yeah, this is after I've filed them down into the shape I want. I'm going for a coffin, but not very narrow, more of like a square coffin, just because that's what I'm more into. And then this is my acrylic that I'm using by Mia Secrets, just a clear, clear sorry, acrylic and then the monomer. And what we'll also be using is a, um, a primer, just to make sure that the acrylic lasts on your nails and just doesn't come off. And you only need to put this on your natural nail, not on where the tip is glued down, which you'll see here, I'm just putting a little bit just where the natural nail is, which <laughs> obviously this is a fake hand, we don't actually need to be doing this, but this is just to let you guys know. And then that's my acrylic, just showing you that there's no, um, beads of acrylic in there already where I've dropped a bit of monomer because that will make it more difficult for you to pick up your own beads when you're wanting to do the um, the acrylic part. So here I'm showing you me picking up a bead of acrylic um, just so you know how runny it should be. This is quite a small bead because we're doing the pinky which obviously is smaller and the rest of the nails but I start by putting the bead where uh, the natural nail and the tip is just because we want that to be glued down really really well and then just make sure it's nice and smooth the smoother you get it now will make the filing job so much easier and a lot quicker now when I first started doing acrylics I was so bad at making it smooth but now there's not really much filing that needs to be done to be honest because I'm quite good at it. And here's my second bead, and this is just to strengthen the nail because you need enough acrylic on there to make sure that the um, the tip isn't gonna bend because obviously that plastic is very thin and you want it to be very strong and sturdy, but not too thick because otherwise it'll look horrible. And make sure you're not getting it on the cuticles. You can see here I'm wiping around the cuticles just to make sure. And I would recommend, as you just saw then, keep wiping your brush on your paper towel just to make sure that there's no acrylic stuck in the brush because if that dries, then you'll be going through a lot of brushes really quick and brushes can get quite expensive. So now I'm filing again, which I didn't really need to do much filing because I've already done the shape, but I'm just making sure that I've got the shape I want now I've done the acrylic. And then you'll also be buffing the top of the nails. But I would spend a lot of time filing because if you don't file the nail to how you want, once you've done them, you'll you'll regret that because that's probably one of the worst things you can do, just half arse the filing and then it's just not as not really the nail as you wanted. Plus a good filing job just makes them look 
a lot more professional and of course you want them to look the best and to make people think that you've paid like 30 pound for a set of nails so but really you've done them by yourself but yeah very easy and this um file is just from amazon all my stuff really is from amazon um and if you're just starting out with nails and you're wanting to purchase some stuff, I definitely recommend looking on Amazon. Um, and just look at my other videos because I've got lots of different stuff. I've got a brand called Model Ones and they've got some really nice stuff. I've got a lot of videos on their stuff, so have a little look. So these are the nails with the acrylic on. They don't look overly different, you can't really see, and I've filed them down. Um, and now they're ready to paint. And see, yeah, it's not really a complicated process at all, but this is what it looks like. And then here I'm showing you again, just so it's more clear. You can see that I've buffed them down. I've not had to buff them down a lot, but yeah, they look pretty good so far. Just the painting now. Okay, so here I'm showing you two uh, a top coat and a base coat from OPI and then a, a colour from um, d d Daisy. I'm not actually entirely sure what the brand's called to be fair so just don't slate me in the comments for that. But yeah I didn't end up actually using that uh, nail varnish because I thought it looked a bit weird because then the colour was really similar to the hands colour because it's quite a salmon, salmon coloured hand. Um, <laughs> not realistic at all but it is what it is, so I decided to use a different colour. But yeah, I'm using a, a base coat here. Make sure you don't wipe off the like the sticky residue because you need that so then um, the, the layers of gel stick together and don't chip. If you're wiping off the sticky layer, the, the residue, um, the nail varnish is a lot more like, well not nail varnish, the gel is a lot more likely to chip, so. Um, and then here is my UV light, which if you're using gels, you're going to need one of these. Got mine from Amazon for like £15. They're not very expensive, so just have a look on there again. Honestly, you can get everything that I'm using today probably from Amazon. This is a nail varnish from Manicura. They kindly sent me loads of nail varnish. Well, sorry, I keep calling them nail varnishes. Um, some gels. And this is a really pretty rose, a rose gold, which very nice and I've used this a lot that's why the bottles messed up so much I'm running out but yeah don't mind that I just I had a bit too much gel on my brush so I needed to wipe onto the other nail but yeah I think I ended up doing three layers of this I didn't end up showing you because you know how to paint nails that's pretty easy and at least I'm showing you once here um but yeah I went over three times just because this isn't this isn't very opaque it's quite sheer so there we are and then this is after three coats i believe unless actually maybe that's we'll see i've forgotten it was a while ago since i filmed this to be honest but yeah curing it again don't wipe off the sticky layer either and there we are i think that is three layers i think i was right but yeah you can see that it's a lot more opaque now with three layers so you can decide how many layers you want to do it's just because i use that nail varnish sorry gel not nail varnish and then i'm using a top coat if you're looking for a really good top coat that's super super glossy i definitely recommend opis i was kindly sent uh, this by a company as well so that was lovely but love this i would definitely recommend it and i know when i run out that bottle i'm getting another one 100 percent And then again, we're going to be curing it. Make sure you're curing for long enough. Otherwise the nails aren't gonna look that good and it's just gonna wipe off. But that was the whole video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. So come back next week for another video, whenever you feel like it. If I even upload, I'll try my best. <laughs> nah, now we're in lockdown. Well, now the UK is in lockdown, I'll be able to upload a lot more, which is great because I'm not doing exams anymore. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I've learned some new stuff. 
If you'd like, I can show you how I do acrylics on my own nails. Just comment down below.